I think for my video blog for today, I'm just going to talk about video blogs, among other things. Um, as you might have guessed by the infrequency of my videos, I'm not really a dedicated YouTube video blogger, but I make one every now and then, and I seem to have a fair amount of subscribers. I don't, I don't really know. I haven't looked at other people's things to see what's average subscription or you know I don't have any idea of that but some people seem to be interested uh, I'm not sure why uh, but people and people I actually know have been asking me as of late you know about when I'm gonna make more video blogs and, and things like that I write a regular like typing blog for most of my like you know, day-to-day -day shit or personal thoughts or whatever. I don't really include any of that in my video blog. But people, people keep hounding me about making these stupid fucking video blogs. There's a kid in my government class, actually, and um, he, he, he refers to me by my, you know, tool time name on YouTube because of he was doing a presentation and he came upon one of my video blogs and in case I never mentioned this before my name is Peter so if you ever see me in person I don't want to be called tool time I think that's that's stupid that's just a generic um, title that I use for a lot of different things because it's a pain in the ass to pick things that aren't taken and I'm too fucking lazy to think of anything meaningful or anything like that. But at any rate, I don't know. I know I hardly ever know what to talk about. In the last video blog, I talked about the whole Jesus camp thing, but I also wrote this whole long thing about it because I finally did see Jesus camp, and it was as disturbing as I thought it would be. And the people are every bit as stupid as I thought they would be. Particularly, there was one per scene in particular where the kid with the mullet is at his home, and they're all homeschooled because, you know, I think the statistic is like 80% of homeschooled kids are homeschooled by their, you know, their fundamentalist parents. And it's so that they can indoctrinate them and keep them from learning about evil evolution and all that other shit. And, um, just, it, it was fucking hilarious. The kid is watching a video, and it's saying that the world is 6,000 years old. Not, not 6 million, not 6 billion, 6,000. Like, it blows, it blows my mind how fucking stupid people can be. There is absolutely no reason to believe that the world is 6,000 years old, other than you know, they added up some lineages in the Bible that said, you know, and so-and-so lived for 900 years, and so-and-so lived for 777 years. It, I can only shake my head and, and laugh at, at people that are that fucking stupid. At any rate, the kid from my government class, he was asking me about making a, more video blogs, if, if I was going to make more video blogs. He saw my conspiracy theory video when he was doing a search on YouTube, because we all had to do PowerPoint presentations for the class, and he did his on the 9-11 conspiracy, and uh, he basically took the same, um, the same stance as I did, that it's, that it's ridiculous. I know there's a lot of people out there that want to argue otherwise, but what, what's interesting to me is whether it's the, be the world being 6,000 years old or there being a 9-11 conspiracy, either way, there's this thing called evidence. And if you think that science is just a big conspiracy to disprove the Bible, and you write it off. The world has to be 6,000 years old because the Bible says so. Or, you know, or if you write off the so-called government propaganda about how what really happened on September 11th because it's just that if you, if you if you think it's government propaganda, so none of it's credible. Like there are claims, there are counter 
uh, evidence and ways to explain every single claim of the conspiracy theorists. But they refuse to believe it. It's just government propaganda. There is a mountain of evidence that says the world is, you know, far older than 6,000 years. But it's just scientific conspiracy out there to say that the world is, you know, that the Bible is incorrect. It's, it's paranoia. You know, every, to say that every conspiracy theory claim debunking site is just run by the government, that's... If, if they have that much influence, why would they allow the conspiracy theory sites to exist? If they're going to go through all that trouble, it would be so much easier to just have all the conspiracy theory sites removed from the internet than it would be to go and create all these propaganda sites and try and drive traffic to them to, to dismiss, you know, loose charge and all this other bullshit. At any rate, um, something else interesting that we were talking about in government class, there was a, another girl who gave her presentation on uh, how women get paid less or, you know, disparity between the, like the male and female workforce or some, something to that effect. And somebody brought up the women's bathroom things, and I think that's hilarious because I went to a movie theater back when I lived in Plattsburgh, it was called The Strand, and I realized that it's like a hundred years old, but uh, a couple years ago, I went to see a movie there with my then-girlfriend at the time, and before the movie we both went into our separate bathrooms. I go take a piss, and I come out of the bathroom, and she's standing there waiting. And she glances into the bathroom, into the men's bathroom, and she's sort of like, is that what the men's room looks like? And, you know, having only ever been in men's bathrooms, I have never really thought, I was like, yeah, that that's what it looks like. What, what do you want? You know, there's a urinal, a stall, you know, something to wash your hands, and a mirror, a small mirror. What do you want? She's just like, come over here. So she takes me over to the woman's bathroom, and there's nobody else in the theater at the time, so it's not like I was going in there where there was a bunch of women in there. And the women's bathroom, it wasn't a fucking bathroom, it was a lounge. It was, it was at least twice the size of the men's bathroom. It had this big area where it was just, there was like a love seat, and little like, you know countertops and magazines and this big vanity mirror and all this other shit. It was... I couldn't even believe it. Why the fuck... I understand that women have this need to go to the bathroom in groups and shit like that, but it was just unbelievable. It made the men's bathroom look like a fucking hole in the wall. And I just thought it was hilarious. I, so, I don't know, have, has anybody else been to a woman's bathroom that you're like, wow, this is really great? Because if you go into a men's bathroom, it's like, there's where you piss, there's where you shit, there's where you wash your hands. End of story. There's no magazine racks, there's no, you know, fucking love seats for you to socialize or any shit like that. I just thought it was hilarious. Uh, well, that's my video blog for today, and... If you notice something strange about this video blog, I decided to use my actual camcorder because even though it doesn't play tapes, I figured out that if I plug it directly into my computer, it basically becomes like a $400 webcam. And um, I was going to shoot it in regular mode, but I like the way that the, the cinema mode looks better, so it's like the wide screen. Um, which will probably look like shit on YouTube, but I don't care.